We now try to find the electrical field due to a dipole on its axial line. You know that the electrical dipole means two equal and opposite charges placed at certain distance. We name it 2A apart. In this diagram, you can see that the two charges minus Q is kept at point A plus Q is kept at point B. The distance between AB is written as 2A. And you know ABP is an axial line. So ABP is an axial line. P is a point where we will try to find the electrical field due to this dipole. The distance of P from the point O is measured as R. Now O is the midpoint of AB, which says that the distance of minus Q from P will be R plus A, that will R plus A. And the distance of point B from P will be R minus A. So these are the diagrams we had made. Now, we know electrical field due to any charge at distance R from it is KQ upon R square or 1 upon 4 pi epsilon or Q upon R square. At point P, we are having electrical field due to two different charges. One charge is minus Q, another is Q. At point P, we will have electrical field due to charge B, which will lead towards away, that is outward direction, and due to negative charge will be inward, that is PB direction will have electrical field. So now we find the electrical field due to these two charges and write it that electrical field due to the positive charge will be. 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q upon R minus A whole square and the direction will be along BP. That means the electrical field will be outward for this particular charge. And for the negative charge, we can see the electrical field for the negative charge will be same in magnitude but the direction will be opposite that is PB or inward direction. So we have got two electrical fields, one is outward, one is inward. So for the vector calculation, the net electrical field will be given as vector sum of these two fields, which on algebraic expression means the electrical field of one minus electrical field of other. In this case, electrical field of positive charge minus electrical field of negative charge because the electrical field due to positive charge is larger it's closer to the point p and the electrical field due to negative charge is lesser so net electrical field you try to find by e plus minus e minus along the direction of bp we just make now the mathematical calculation for this much part and we'll get the electrical field we write Substitute both the values of E plus and E minus from these, let's say E plus direction on this point and we like this and E minus expression for this and we substitute these two values. Now Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught is taken out common and then the mathematical part is done and we come to know as the expression as electrical field as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught 4 r a q upon r square minus a square whole square. We recall here that the 2 a q is termed as electrical dipole moment whose direction is from negative charge to positive charge. For this diagram we can say the electrical dipole moment is from a to b or towards direction a b or towards b b which is same. So, since electrical field is a vector, when we have got the magnitude, we have also to write the direction of it. So, we make it vectorially as E is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught 2 pr upon r square minus a square whole square. We have yet to understand a specific case for this when r is much much larger than a. Whenever the distance p is much away from o, the distance AB or the two way is very less, so we call it a short dipole. So we understand what will happen in this case.
in the special case supposing we say r is much much greater than 2 and a that means the denominator of r square minus a square is almost equal to r square only and which will make r 4 in the denominator and 1 r is in the numerator so it gets cut and ultimate expression what we get is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught 2 p upon r q but remember this is the value only if the dipole is short in various expressions we can find the electrical field due to dipole in the standard form is 2 p r upon r square minus a square but for this special case of dipole it is 2 p upon r cube which reminds us one thing very well that whenever there is a short dipole the electrical field be proportional to 1 upon r cube while for a point charge it will 1 upon r square that means the electrical field versus r graph for a dipole will be more steeper as compared to electrical field versus r square graph versus r graph for a point charge thank you